tonight. So uh, tell me, is there anything that uh, is going on that's that's real pertinent that you wanted to share with us right away? Yeah, you know, it's <laughs> it's a scary situation down here. Uh, you know, I, I I was pretty naive three three weeks ago. I think not only to this situation, but to the the uh, the state of America as a whole. Um, you know, we came out here to originally shoot a documentary. Uh, the Project Gulf Impact one, uh, as a human interest story, and, and we very quickly realized that there's a lot more going on here, and, and, and the cover-up is so, uh, the magnitude is so indescribable uh, that it, it's still hard to even talk about, but I'm doing it, um, you know, and the things that I'm learning are so incomprehensible to some people that, uh, you know, they're having a hard time dige digesting it, but uh, I'm learning a few things uh, while I'm out here, and, and I'd say the most pertinent thing is that I... I believe there's going to be an evacuation very soon, and that people, uh, and not a friendly one. Wow. How, uh, what's, what's the uh, mindset in, in the people around there? I mean, uh, what we like to, we like to refer to them as either they're awake or, or sleepers. Are there still a whole lot of sleeping people there? I like, I like that. I like, I like what you refer to them as. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, and this is, this is one of the hardest things that's going on right now, is we have so many sleepers. I'd say about 70 to 80 percent of the people here are sleepers. I, I was on a show last night, and, uh, you know, I was talking about the fact that I think it's sort of like the people who, who are from here are, are treating this like the death of a family member, this whole spill, everything that's been going on. And they're still in the first stage, which is denial. And it, it, it's going to, I think, be, in some cases, deadly uh, to these people if they don't get out of that state very quickly. And not to be an alarmist or anything, because trust me, I'm not. Uh, and I wouldn't even be doing any of this if I didn't believe this and, and, and know that this is true. Hey, same here, man. Same here. Yeah, I was, I was uh, listening to the archive on uh, the show, uh, getting caught back up. And uh, I, I wanted to hand it to you. You made an excellent analogy with uh, the people's reaction. It's as if someone has died. Someone close to them yeah. died, and they're still like lost. They haven't hit them yet, you know. And uh, exactly. you know, I, I, a lot of those properties are probably like you know, generations um, owned through their family for generations, you know. And nobody really wants to just turn their back on on the property that they have. And I mean, there's, I'm sure there's like all sorts of things that, that weigh on your mind when it comes to an evacuation. But but I'm telling you, man, I'd already be out of there. Um, is there anything you want to, that that maybe you forgot to add from last night that you wanted to uh, bring us bring us up up to date on up to speed on? Yeah, I think I think one of one of the things that I really want to communicate here to everyone, uh, two things actually. One is this is not uh, an evacuation that's going to be happening in a couple weeks or a couple months. I have it to my knowledge. This is going to be happening within a few days to to maybe a week. Um, so really, it's unfortunate because yes, it is hard, and yes. You know, I, I completely understand the, the, how difficult it must be to let go of all those things. And, but, but I do know people who are doing it because they are aware and they are awake, as you would say. And the second thing is, you know, it's unfortunate that this is not being viewed as, a, as an American problem. It's being viewed as a Gulf problem. Um, and it's probably a worldwide problem, actually. And that is something that is so crucial and so critical, and people are just oblivious. I've had people you know, call me a liar saying that there's not even oil out here today. That was, that was a new one, that, there's, that, that it's a lie, you know. And, and, and regardless of what your beliefs are, I mean, I'm down here. I'm experiencing this. I, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm, I'm, I'm just a guy who is down here and has the, the luxury, if you can even call it that, to talk to literally hundreds of people over the last couple of weeks from all different walks of life, from government all the way down to, you know, homeless fishermen, essentially, and they are all saying the exact same thing, and that's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I, I would have already been gone. Um, uh, how long? How much longer do you plan on being down there? I was originally planning on being down here uh, till the 17th, and I'm actually leaving tomorrow because that is how confident I am in what we're hearing. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. It's, you know, it, I, I think that there is so much confusion and disinformation. Well, I, I'm glad you're down there, man, and that, that you're uh, spreading the word and you're setting people straight. Um, I know we've been screaming this. It, it sound, it's, so, it's almost so far-fetched, it's unreal, you know, to, to sit here and explain to somebody that, that this ca catastrophe, that this event, and it's it's almost unbelievable, 
And people don't want to hear it. I mean, it's totally it's it's understandable that that's the, the case. But you know, do I think that it's something people should be listening to? Yes. Uh, you know, and no matter how hard it is to hear, I mean, the truth is hard to hear, and people think that it's so outlandish that it couldn't possibly be true. But all signs are indicating that it's the only thing that's true. You know, the people the people who are from here, I love the people from here. They are not they are not dumb or or any stereotype. You know, just the, just the same uh, as anywhere. You know, you're gonna you're gonna have your ideas about people. They're not stupid. I mean, there are people down here who know. I think that if this this was occurring anywhere, it would be the same thing. Because the, 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 the difference between this and a hurricane or this and a fire or a flood or, or whatever is essentially that it's slowly happening. I mean, it's, gonna, it's increasing every day, but, I mean, we're literally being gassed. I mean, you can feel it. You can smell it. You can taste it. You can breathe it. The symptoms are long-lasting. But it is a slow thing. It's not a hurricane knocking a building down. It's gases being poured into the air, essentially, and poisoning us. It's, it's, it's oil slowly washing up onto the beaches. It's, you know, it's more of a slow kill. So I think it's harder for people to, to understand and really grasp it. And we did have, like I said, the ability to be in five different cities in a day or, or a couple different places. I and mean, we're in our cars. We're not doing this. You know, we're not flying around. We're, do, we're, we're trying to do it as, as much as anybody who lived here would, would be doing it. And, you know, I still see... The, the, the resistance to understanding, but you know the people down here are resilient. I I, I hope to, and I pray to God that they will not wait until FEMA's knocking on their door and taking them out in the middle of the night to wake up. You know that's my prayer. Yeah, that that quote is from Sir Winston Churchill. It says, "Men occasionally stumble over the truth, but most of them pick themselves up and hurry off as if nothing ever happened." <laughs> that's a perfect quote to describe what's happening other wells around this area. I mean, w what's happening down there is unprecedented. It's never, nothing like this has ever happened. And you have to wonder how this was allowed to happen. And then, you know, again, I'm still doing my homework, but the next question is why was it maybe allowed to happen? You know, uh, maybe there was, a, there was something deeper going on here. I mean, I sure think that there's something a lot darker going on here than is being talked about. Man, I'm, I'm not proud to say it, but I, I believe that this oil debacle, this oil disaster, was an event that was uh, scheduled to happen in somebody's book somewhere, and that it's not meant to get fixed for quite a while. Um, they needed they needed a way to get in and do the and, and do the things that they need to do for population uh, um, for for depopulation and uh, to to take over this country, um, and. and I can support that with facts for many, many, many different different areas, um, but that's what I've been led to believe through my research, man. You know, there's 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 an elite group out there that call the shots and blow the whistles, and uh, yeah. this was meant this was meant for us, and we're just going to have to suck it up and deal with it, and uh, you know, use our heads. Um, you know, the government's not helping; they are they are absolutely uh, stonewalling the American people on this. Um, it's just absolutely. it just it absolutely disgusts me to, to see um, the direction that uh, our, our federal government has, has taken on all this. And it just goes to show you that who's, whose side of the fence they're really on. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah, no, I, you know, I, I, you know it, it, again, it's good to hear people like you, Phil, who, who say that because, uh, I mean, it's not good to hear. It's, it, it's bad, but it's the truth, you know, and, and the truth is sometimes very hard to swallow. Again, I came out here, like I said, so naive, not versed in anything. You know, I hadn't even heard the word elite used in this way three weeks ago, you know, but now I get it, you know, and it's so evident and so obvious. Like you said, there's so many facts. We have, you know, one of the greatest things about this is we have so much on camera, you know, so much on camera that I think these people are not happy about. And we were followed around the other night by two different vehicles. Um, you know, there's lots of instances, especially since we started getting vocal about what we're seeing, where someone's not happy. Someone somewhere is not happy. I, you know, was it scheduled? I can't say. I don't know. But does it look like it might have been? It looks like, yeah, it might have been. And that's, that's horrifying. If that's true, and like I said, you know, we don't have the, the concrete proof, but if that is true, then we got a real bumpy road ahead of us. We already do with the spill alone. But but if, if what what I'm hearing is going to happen happens, 
we gotta we gotta really stand up as a country here and really take back our rights. We're we're already losing. I mean, our First Amendment uh, rights are gone already. I mean, and w w how long how long will we sit and not stand up? How long are people just going to be passive and and not say something? I mean, I know I'm not the only one who feels this way. I know I'm not. I know you're not the only one who feels this way. How do we do this so that we do not succumb to them? They probably want us to revolt. They probably want an excuse to call martial law. I mean, what better, what better reason? But, you know, if we all go into some sort of revolution for them to say, you know what, now we're a martial law. We have to be smarter than them, and we have to stay ahead of this curve because it's a dangerous and slippery